So I've been trying to do this video for, what, two months and a half now? And because of all the COVID and quarantine, everything was closed. Same thing for this place, so I couldn't really do it. Yeah, we are definitely living in some strange times, right? One of the questions most people ask their friends, family members, is how was or how is the confinement slash quarantine for you? If you were to ask me that, my answer would be very simple. I wasn't in quarantine. And I'm here today to share with you guys how it happened and how great our guide is. So this testimony is really just a follow-up, a natural follow-up to the one that comes before it, or at least the biggest one that comes before it, which is what happened when I got here last year and I was trying to find a job. Long story short, I was trying to do things my way. I had a plan, I'm gonna find a job here, I'm gonna work in this industry, that way I'll be good. But God had a different plan for me and you know, I didn't want him to listen. I was fighting against it for months and months and months. I was still trying to do things my way. Nothing worked. It was one of the hardest period in my life so far. And then I realized maybe this is the wrong way to do it. Maybe if I follow his plan, things will be much easier for me. And that's what I did. I found a job and it was something I really liked. And because of that experience, my mindset was very different. I was completely and completely relying on him to do anything. And that was a great help when it comes to what happened in what I'm about to tell you guys. So before all this COVID stuff, when things were going on in China, in my head, I was like, it's just another one of those diseases. They're just going to come and go and everybody will forget about it in about a year. I was wrong. Around mid-May, I'll say, people were starting to go crazy about toilet paper. That's when I realized this is serious, you know. <laughs> Rumors were going around that uh, they were going to reduce the, the amount of people working. And at the time, we were around 17 to 20 people working. And then one week after that, our supervisor came with a new schedule. And on that new schedule, we went from 18 to five people. And that was, that was big. That was big. And guess what? I was one of the guys elected to work. And at the time, I really wasn't worrying too much about if I was going to be selected or not. In my mind, because again, of the experience I had last year when I was trying to find a job, if I rely completely on God, completely on Him, He was not going to disappoint me. He was going to find a way, whatever that way was. And you have to realize, I was only working there for about, what? Not even a year. And there were people that had been working there for five plus years, they were not selected. So I was very, very, very grateful for that. But the story doesn't end there. We work with another company and they were going back and forth in meetings because they were losing money every day. So they had to uh, make a decision. One week later, one of the Emirates trader that I was seeing going around, she came up to me and uh, basically told me, hey, we're gonna close. I didn't really think anything about it. The next morning, I told my boss, hey, it seems like uh, the company upstairs, they're gonna close. And he looks at me weird, he's like, Really? And I was like, yeah. He was like, I didn't hear anything. I'm like, really? He's like, no. So I was like, okay, I guess it's still working. And yeah, they didn't close. Again, that was the end of that. On the first instance, I could have had some type of control over who was selected or not to still work. Some might say, this guy is pretty good we can work with him, which is true. But at the end of the day, that was God's hands. The second instance, I had absolutely no control on anything that was happening. And I only realized how big of a deal it was two weeks later. 
I was like, if those guys were to close, what if that happened to me? Because our company is working alongside the other one. So if they close, they have nothing to do. If that were to happen, I was toast. Done so. <laughs> when I realized that, I was like, oh Lord, you are so good. I thank you. And yeah, let's go. During the confinement, you know, it was interesting to say the least. I was still going to work. I was still using public transportations, metro, bus. And even though there were not a lot of people, the few that were there were very uh, cautious, to say the least. They would stay 10 feet away apart from you. They would not want to touch anything on the metro or the bus, that kind of thing. I still had the same state of mind. There was no way our God was going to let me down. Even if I were to get sick, I could just pray about it and boom, problem solved. So I wasn't scared. I wasn't worried. I was just looking at the situation like it was a movie. You know, if you watch a lot of movies, everything that happened, it was just like in the movie. And I was like sitting there and, you know, watching. One thing I learned from all of this is to be really grateful for what you have. It doesn't matter if it's small or big. Sometimes you need to stop, look around, and really be thankful to God to what he gives you. I am grateful for the uh, community I'm in, the brothers and sisters in Christ that I'm with. I couldn't really do anything because of the COVID, so I had to do everything online during the weeks with the brothers and on Sundays we still have our gathering like like it was in church, right? And we still learn about the word of God and share our experiences. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody has this luxury. I'm super, super thankful for that. And also for everything is doing in my life. And my encouragement for you guys that are watching is if you haven't took that step of really dedicating yourself to him and following his plan for you in your life, really, uh, I really encourage you to do so. It's the best life. It's not always easy, that's for sure, but at the end, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with him.